Being homebound is one of the most devastating, isolating things that can happen to somebody. You lose all your connections with family, friends. If you're a churchgoer, you can't even partake in your religious activities. This isn't right. Those of us that are fortunate, we, we have such a wealthy community, it's the least we can do is take that used equipment and give it to someone who doesn't have what we have. What it got to do in order to got it all uh, processed, I just gotta wait, man. See, that's, that's the thing that stinks is with so many different makes and models and no interchangeability, they can't afford to keep them in stock. Now, the situation here is very simple. The gentleman does have insurance. However, the dealers don't keep the parts in stock. So in the meantime, he can't use the chair. Now you're at home and no one knows where you are. All it takes is a wheel and he's back in business. But what did they tell you, how many weeks? Four to six weeks. Four to six weeks at home. Is that right? We don't think that's right. Here we are, literally on an alley, a service lane, in an old auto garage. But it actually is, it fits our needs. A lot of times when we're working on the equipment, it's about the nuts and the bolts and the cleaning it up and getting it ready to go. But the truth is that each piece of equipment is really a person, and that person has a family. And they could be our next door neighbors, or it could be me, it could be you. Every piece of equipment is a way to give back freedom, independence, and choice. Getting the hospital bed is really going to help my daughter. She was diagnosed um, maybe quite a few years ago with MS, and it affects her legs. And every time she has maybe an accident or fall, anything like that, it just drains her, takes some strength away. You know, she can do things for herself. She'll feel more of independence when she gets to bed. Last month, our youngest client was six years old, and our oldest was 94. And we had everything in between. But you know, if you don't have insurance, and you're hit with a major medical crisis, You'll go through the hospital, you'll be sent home, and then you just drop out of sight. It's this strange dichotomy of the urban environment where you literally disappear from sight until or unless someone makes the equipment available to you. Last month, we were literally in danger of closing. Uh, over the entire year, we had gotten further and further behind because of the general economic times. One day, there was a knock on the door, and I went and answered it, and a slightly older gentleman, fairly short, but average, and he said, I read the article, I can't do much, but here, and he handed me three $1 bills, and he turned around and he walked away. How can you not succeed? when folks will do that for you.